What is up guys? How are you guys doing today? I'm back with another video of Technology Tech. Today we're going to be talking about what we're going to be comparing the iPhone XR versus the iPhone SE 2. And there's a $200 price difference for these devices. The XR $600, SE 2 $400. So we're going to be talking about, we're going to answer two questions in the end of this video. If you got the iPhone XR from 2018, should you upgrade the to get the new 2020 iPhone SE 2 or should you buy the iPhone XR or the iPhone SE 2? That's going to be a hard question. But both of these phones have LCD displays issued at 720p. The iPhone SE 2 has an 813 chip. The XR has an 812 chip. So that's a point to the SE 2 for having an 813 chip. Plus the SE 2 will get more updates. Next thing, let's talk about the release date. So the XR came out in 2018. The, um, SC2 came out in 2020, so definitely a point to the SC2 because it's newer. Next thing, cameras. These both have the same 12 megapixel cameras. These cameras pretty much look the same. There's no difference, so I'm not going to give any other one of them a point because the cameras are the same. They both have a single camera layout. They both have a flash. Now, the back. They both have glass backs, and they both are IP68 rating. Well, no, the iPhone XR is IP67. The IP68 is on the SE2, so that's definitely pointing to the SE2. Let's talk about security. The XR is better at security because you got the face ID, which is something you cannot get on the SE2. Plus, the XR has a bigger screen, so that's definitely two points to the XR as well. Two extra points. Speakers are exactly the same, no difference. Both get 5 watt charger and box, both get the headphones, the same presentation from Apple. But the biggest difference in these devices is the size. 4.7 inch display on the SC2, 6.1 inch display on the iPhone XR. The XR is a whole lot bigger, but I'm not going to give either phone a point because some people like small phones, some people like big phones. Now, color choices. This is where the iPhone XR leads because you get more color choices. You get yellow, you get blue, you get black, you get red, you get white. And what else the last color? In the, in the XR blue, I think. No orange. With the 11, well, with the SE2, you only get two colors. <laughs> I mean, no, three colors. What am I talking about? Red, white, black. Those are your only three color choices. With the XR, you get an extra three more, double that from the um, SE2. So you get more color choices with the XR. Now, we're going to talk about. If you got the XR, should you upgrade the SC2? I would say no, because you're not going to have that face ID no more. You got a whole lot smaller screen, so then you got to get used to that smaller screen. No, and then you have a whole bigger bezels at the top and bottom, so no. Keep your XR, get something more, get some around, get something better at that same price. For instance, the, I, the um, Galaxy S9, same price. $400, get a lot more tech. Next thing, should you get the SC2 or the XR? To be honest, the only two the, the only two things I would say, if you want a bigger screen and you want face ID, get the XR. Spend that extra two hundred dollars. But if you don't care about, if you like smaller screens, and you like the, if you love the home button a lot, get the SC2. You will be happy. And plus, you get a newer phone overall. You get an A13 chip, and you get a better water resistance. Also, you get a lot better. I would say spend the money and get the SE2 because you're getting a lot more stuff. But if you want that bigger screen, you want Face ID, get the XR. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like us, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, and concerns, put them down below. See you guys next year that I post.